Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Rebel Ink Escalation Custom Scenarios. Today we're going to try out a scenario called Garrison Heaven by no one in particular. That's fun. The insurgents are attacking once again, as they often do. However, all the other governors went on vacation, leaving only the garrison commander left to fend them off. How incredibly irresponsible. In this scenario, garrisons must be used to solve problems as you have dramatically fewer soldiers. That's an interesting idea. First off, it looks like not all of the governors went on vacation. We do still have the civil servants, but let's be honest, he's effectively useless since he doesn't do anything. So, fewer soldiers, lots of garrisons, right? Am I understanding how that's going to work? Let's find out for sure. So, we're playing as, apparently, Colossal Garrison is the name of the operation. I don't even have a choice in that. Go for my standard positioning as far as the HQ. I do see some specialist depots, and sure enough, we have quite a few forts already placed down. What is this? The Fanatical Outpost. Prevent insurgents from fleeing. Useful when we go chasing after insurgents and try to kill them with the help of garrisons, right? Probably. What's this? Garrison initiatives, most advanced initiatives are not available. Oh, good. Just hamper me even further. Why not? Yeah, that sounds fine. I see a coalition soldier, but not much else. And then we have garrisons one, authorized construction of garrisons in zones with intel. So just standard garrisons just a little bit early then. Got it. All right, fine. Let's go for the district representatives. Let's go for effective procurements. Let's go for services. This is all different. Hang on. Water supplies, supply distribution, and garrison schools. So, they are the regular initiatives, but they be reskinned re -skin so that people have to come to the fort. Bring your children to the fort! They shall learn many things! Sure, why not? Okay, I, yeah, I, uh, that's fine. Let's go for Garrison Scouts. That does get me some extra intel on zones over time. Uh, if we're going to have less units, getting garrisons is going to be very important, but also getting roads for fast transportation is probably going to be very key for me. So let's go ahead and get some infrastructure discussion. Hang on, there's something new. Garrison Radio. So it's just regular radio and electricity. I don't know why some of this has been reskinned, since it appears to be the exact same thing. Like that's that's one of those that's one of those customizations that's not really custom, and you just kind of have to ask why. And I don't know the answer to that one. Uh, let's go ahead and get roads and uh, highways, since that should cover most of the area around these mountains, which is where I'm ultimately hoping to get these guys contained. We have intel in quite a few locations. I do have two different specialist depots, so that's helpful. Won't be surprised if there's a third one somewhere. Uh, we're gonna go for the outreach office so we can roll out these initiatives, especially the roads, a little bit faster. And we should probably go ahead and pick up at least corruption level one, just so we can start slowly chipping away at that. Yeah, starting to get some infrastructure here. What's this? Floods devastate this area. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and do extensive aid. Uh, amazingly, did not get the significant boost in corruption, but that does turn into just free support across the entire zone. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, PR Media Office wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm holding on to some cash just because I expect that we're going to need to get some soldiers soon. But we'll see. I guess we could just start placing down garrisons. I just feel like you want to place garrisons down a little bit later because they will tell you where the enemies are going to be, right? Garrisons automatically are prioritized wherever the insurgents are actually located. So that just makes more sense to me. What's this, by the way? Camp Knowledge. Scientifically, insurgent camps are the opposite of garrisons. Oh, that makes sense. We can use this knowledge to logically work out where the camps are in comparison. Unlock informants. Uh, so does that just tells me where the camps are? I mean, that's useful. I've got intel on the full zone already. And I see no sign of insurgents at all. This is very delayed. <laughs> Very delayed indeed. All right, more initiatives then. Uh, how about some dirt roads and some supplies? There we go. What do you want? Electricity. Everyone wants electricity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of a foundational resource for most of civilization these days. I guess that's fair. We'll go ahead and pick that one up. Why not? Um, still no sign of insurgents for the record. <laughs> there they are. Okay, good. Finally, let's go ahead and pick up some uh, coalition soldiers and see what we can do. I want to grab some of these specialist depots as quick as we can. Grab those now. So, wait, do we not have any national soldiers? If we don't have national soldiers, that's a problem. Right. Well, let's go ahead and pick up garrisons. Ah, oh, we do have national soldiers. Okay. Garrisons 2. Hire additional logistical teams to expedite the placements. We just get to place down more. Only good if you have enough income to support that. Tripwires. Uh, in the incredibly unfortunate event we lose a garrison, we make sure we take insurgents with it, which is conflicting with something else. Indestructible garrisons. Pure diamond. Really? Oh, wow. Pure diamond walls. Ensuring insurgents can't destroy them no matter what. Can we build one of these and then just sell it? Just chip away at it for a little bit? I think that would supply our nation with funds for a long, long time. I'm just saying. Ah, whatever. Garrison up over here. Odd spot for one, but all right. We'll go ahead and pick it up. 
I'm going to probably deploy the remote specialist in particular. I see that as being the most helpful, but the urban, a little bit less so. Urban, I could afford, probably afford to get rid of, but remote, yeah, that could be that could be very important for me. Um, I'm going to get national soldiers training, since it seems like we can't have very many. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab water supplies. My corruption's a bit high, considering. Hello, found some enemies. Okay, so we're going to get this depot real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and reject it to get some money, because we just don't need it. Then we're going to pop over here and, with the power of garrisons, hopefully destroy these fools. What else do we have over here? National travel logistics and armed soldiers, blah, blah, blah. And then interpreters and guides. Yeah, if, if we're only going to get two units, this is actually going to be pretty t tricky. No doubt about it. Increase support level. This is universal justice. Uh, I mean, it's probably worth getting. It's usually really good. We need more support level. It seems a little bit low. Uh, at the end of the day, I mean, we're fine because we did have such an incredible delay in um, the enemies spawning, but yeah. So there's probably a camp over here. I'm going to wish that I had airstrikes, and I can control the airstrikes. Fascinating. Okay. That works all right for me. Um, we are not going to win this fight unless we get some more garrisons, huh? Right. Yeah, that's that's admittedly a bit of a problem. Um, what do people want? Still want electricity, huh? And also radio. Right. Well, um, hmm. I guess we could pick this up. What does this do? Garrison dropping. Increase the strength of airstrikes. Unlocks government takeover? Huh? Okay. So we drop, we drop garrisons down. That doesn't make any sense. Unlock government takeover. What does that do? I've got no clue. We could use the remote specialist to try and win this fight here, and I think we may have to. I was hoping not to do that. Alternatively, hang on, drone. Yoink. Found the camp. Bomb it. Boom, bye. Okay, so we at least got rid of that nonsense, so that's helpful. I was hoping to use this on the national soldier, but you know what, if we're only gonna get two soldiers anyway, I guess we just go ahead and pick this up and get the combat boost. That'll work. Uh, refugee crisis, let's go ahead and start preparing some land. That costs a lot of money, unfortunately, and I really need some more garrisons, and it looks like we're finding some more nastiness. Okay. These guys are having to retreat down over here. That's good, because if we can fight them here, then they won't be able to retreat, and they'll all just die, which is kind of what I want. Uh, there's probably another camp right up here in this corner, if I had to guess. The question is, do we go here, or do we go here? We can probably go over here first, chase them into this area, but we need more garrisons. Let's go ahead and pick up garrisons level two. Get them to start popping down a little bit faster. Um, I'm thinking... Oh, there it is. Drone. And as soon as it appears... No, 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 no! Ah, dang it! I thought right-clicking was going to cancel out the airstrikes, but that is, uh, it turns out not how it worked. Let's go and start clearing out this camp the old-fashioned way, then. Fine. Let's see if I even care. At least these garrisons are pretty helpful. I'll give it that much. But we're not getting more. I was kind of expecting to have more garrisons by now. Hire even more logistical teams. Yes? No, and we're going to go for some anti-corruption, because it's still a little bit too high. All right, so this is going to be taken care of. That's good. Let's go ahead and march in over here. These guys are all going to die as long as we can win this fight. So let's go ahead and help this along with some extra reinforcements across the board. Since we don't actually have a lot to go with. Oh, good. So if we destroy that thing instantly before we fight these guys, so they actually die? Doesn't look like it. Then what's the point of these things? This doesn't do much. I don't know what that does then. All right, apparently I completely misunderstood how that's supposed to be a thing. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, what else do we want to do? Well, I could really use the strategic communications, and you know what? Let's go for some local police recruitment because we're going to have some security issues. I can just see it happening. Let's go ahead and march up in these directions and kick these guys off into some corners. Let them stick into two different zones. I don't really care as long as we can catch out any of their camps. Speaking of which, drone, airstrike. Boom. All right, so I spawn some. They aren't going to get very far, so that's something. Uh, we'll have some security for the hotel, because if you don't do that, you are going to get some nasty events following up. Civil support. Um, yeah, we could get extra. You know what? This is actually really good. Extra support level in zones of the garrison. Given that we have so many garrisons, that's going to greatly increase the speed of stability for a lot of these different zones. So I just see that as being useful. Uh, we'll do an airstrike over here. Just go ahead and win this fight. There we go. They're spawning some more over here somewhere. There might be another camp. We'll find out in a minute once I get some drones. Clear out a couple of these zones. They're trying to get up into my garrisons, which I don't appreciate. We have a fair number of upgrades for regular roads, but it's still not enough. Um, let's go for camp knowledge. So what does this do? Well, apparently it just reveals the camp outright. Okay, yeah, airstrikes are extremely powerful in that case. That's really good. We'll keep trying for that then. Okay, they're gonna go over here. What does this do? This also stops them from fleeing. See, this blockade I know how to use. 
If this was something like, you know, you weren't able to flee with your units and they died or something, then at least I would understand the point. Okay, insurgents are really powerful, just getting rid of these camps like that. That's really good. <laughs> uh, I need another unit in order to even have a chance of killing these guys. This is going to get really awkward really fast. If we can't actually corner these guys, what do we do? Let's go over Garrison's level 3. What does this do? Sure, we'll take some security zones and make it harder for them to actually take anything over. We apparently get free drones in addition to actually making use of drones. That's interesting. Yeah, but I, I can't chase these guys down and do anything. There's nothing to do over here except, I guess, go here. And then maybe we can kill off a tiny little group right here, and that's kind of it. Like, we can't corner these guys without a lot more garrisons. This is going to be rough. Well, we have a garrison, finally. Okay, this will help at least. There we go. So, let's wait for you to arrive. Actually, hang on. Airstrike, then jump in here. And you're going to arrive not in time to probably kill these guys because they're going to have a place to retreat. Never mind, they still died. All right, we're fine. Uh, we need to get some foreign assistance or relations office is what I mean to say. Let's go ahead and apply the subtle pressure as we often do. Let's go ahead and destroy another camp. These camps keep spawning, don't they? They just keep popping up all over the place. Oh, hang on. Let's go and save this garrison since it's currently under assault. Gosh, they really are going to just continue bringing back these camps. It's a good thing we have airstrikes about as fast as we do. I'm sitting on a lot of cash, so we need to figure out something to do with this. Could go for the indestructible garrisons, I suppose. I think we need to go for garrisons four, and then maybe combat reinforcements just to make these guys a bit stronger. Because they're the, kind of the only thing that are going for me right now. But they need to give me more. If they don't give me more, what am I going to do? All right, uh, I'll tell you what. More roads and more corruption reduction for now. That's going to have to be good enough. I mean, I know how to win this. Like, I, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem to win this scenario. It's more of, this is going to take a long time and a lot of lucky garrison placements. If I could choose where to place the garrisons, well then, ah, all of a sudden, I think this would make a little bit more sense. Let's go ahead and knock this out. The informants are a little bit too powerful, though. I'll give it that. But also, might be necessary for the balance of the scenario, because without it, what the heck are you supposed to do? Let's go for some interpreters and guides. We could go for faster movement and stuff. I think I need to go for some more anti-corruption. There's another option here. Garrison justice. Order corrupt officials publicly executed. Their bones will be used as construction materials for the next garrison. That's ridiculous. All right. I mean, we're fine as far as reputation because they're not even able to connect a lot of their zones together. That's kind of how this is working right now. It's pretty great. Um, it looks like the last of these insurgents are going to be caught out and killed here thanks to the blockade. So we might be able to just clear these zones out. Let's go ahead and do that now. Might as well, I think. Don't even need this drone. Yeah, who needs drones anymore if they're just going to keep telling where the camps are for free? N no one needs drones anymore. They're irrelevant. Let's go ahead and get some more policing. Policing is another way we'll be able to deal with this. If anyone leaves these zones and steps out into a well-secured zone, then they just die and I can come up here and clear out the area like this. There, see? Solve that problem. There we go. Who needs garrisons? We just need a really good police force. No, for real, though, uh, if we're going to be out fighting up here in the mountains, I need so many more garrisons, please. Um, well, we could go faster. Uh, I think we can go for things like civil assistance, at least. What about garrison dropping? What does this do? Government takeover. I've got to know. I don't see any... Okay, we got rid of this outpost, but I think that's just because I can... Wait. Oh, they blew it up for free. Nice. Oh! Wait, every time we, we use an airstrike, we get a garrison? What? Is that how this actually is going to work? No. No, that cannot be right. What if it is? That'll feel really crazy if so. All right, hang on. I need to test this. Um, pew. Oh, my God. That's exactly how this is going to work. All right, airstrikes are now OP as frick. Uh, <laughs> cool. So uh, I can just keep using airstrikes forever then. In, in that case, this is now easily winnable. Go for precision. No, not precision. Ah, oh, I was hoping for a cooldown reduction. Ah, well, it's probably fine. Let's just go ahead and grab some travel munitions. I thought I saw something pop up over here. Yeah, garrison tunnels allow the soldiers to move from place to place instantly. A little bit overpowered, if you ask me. People are still concerned about their uh, electricity? Nonsense. Let's go ahead and reduce some corruption and go for garrison justice. We'll use bones. Why not? Oh, no, we lose a garrison. Oh, no, no. Whatever shall we do? No. Let's go ahead and place one down here. Oh, you think we might be bombing our own people? Wait, that didn't actually place a garrison. Hey, it's inconsistent. All right, uh, we're going to relax rules because the more airstrikes we have, the better. Threaten these guys again. Why not? Go over here. Get over here. And let's see if I can use another garrison, let's say like this. 
Okay, that did not place down a garrison. Interesting. Okay, so apparently now garrisons aren't being placed. Hmm. I'm not terribly sure what's happened here and why, but... Maybe I have to use it in zones of full intel. Let's test that. Right here. Nope, that didn't do it. Well, then I have no idea. I have no idea why it works sometimes and why it works other times. I'm sure someone in the comments section is smarter than me and will tell me, but, you know, there you go. Uh, let's see. What else we want to do? Let's do some remote outreach, and we could do Democrat transition. Feels unnecessary. Let's go for the indestructible garrisons. What's this? Advanced research. Powerful initiatives. Overwatch. Post flyers mocking the insurgents. Force them to attack the garrisons if they're next to one. Which, by the way, are reinforced with diamond, so that seems powerful. Or snipers, whenever they win a battle, the soldiers will kill insurgents. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, just weakening them outright is just generally pretty good. So maybe this only works when you destroy one of their camps, then. Yeah, okay, so that's what it is. Destroy their camp, gain free garrison. Got it, it all makes sense now. I understand how it works. I'm tracking, we just gotta wait for more of these dang camps to pop up. That's fine. Threaten them one more time. We'll clear out this tiny little corner, then we'll go over here. Found a camp, thank you, good plan, boom, bye. Of course, now we need to follow this up quickly with some reinforcements, otherwise that garrison is going to be destroyed. Let's get over here and defend this garrison. Hello, another camp, what do you know? That'll be great. Uh, let's do the full reform of prison reforms, why not? We're gonna be able to defend this garrison after all. Free garrison over here as well, means these guys can only retreat in one direction. And we blow up this over here, and then you get down over here. Concern over a lack of jobs, you say? How about work at the garrison? <laughs> Why not? That's where all the action is happening these days. Just go work at the garrison. It's fine. And the military industrial complex it just it employs a whole bunch of people. It's great. It's great for the economy. Don't even worry about it. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up some local militia. And then, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do a couple more initiatives here and there. I don't even care about inflation at this point. Waiting for more camps to spawn, because that's ultimately what's going to help me win. More subtle pressure, please. 87% chance of success. Great success for me. Threaten again, because there's no consequences, and we're sitting at 133 reputation at this point. Security should be doing its job, and I mean, these guys aren't going to be able to do much. You know, we have policing and stuff for a reason, right? Uh, oversight on a power station? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and start rolling out some more civil integration. Just want to stabilize a couple of these zones. Um, there is there's a little bit of trouble over here, but at 141% security, we should be fine. Come on, where's your camp? Spawn a camp already! You know you want to? Come on, organize! No? Mm. Alright, fine, fair enough. Let's go ahead and try to talk to these losers. Okay, these zones are taken care of, and they died, and there we go. Okay. More subtle pressure from you, please. Uh, do, 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 do. what's this? Assuage concerns. Remove all local concerns. Wow. Unnecessary, but nice. Thank you. We'll go for some remote garrisons and stuff, because that helps me roll things out even faster. Ban them. Absolutely not allowed. Come on, police, you're supposed to do something here. Oh, good lord. Oh, wait, the police actually did do something there. They're gone. Oh, okay, never mind, thank you. <laughs> I've always thought that was weird, by the way. Like, the policing, say you're sorry, by the way. Policing is kind of like, I don't know, just like a suicide mission. Like, take out the police and they take you all down with you. Uh, it's just, ha why? Why don't the police just preemptively go out there and fight them? Uh, I guess we just go ahead and agree to a peace deal. I mean, this is kind of over. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think the idea of having to use garrisons exclusively is a really interesting idea, no doubt. But notice that we never had any pop-up about coalition soldiers wanting to go home, so that was fine from a reputation perspective. And then some of the other perks, as far as the informants and then placing down extra garrisons with airstrikes and so on, a little bit overpowered. I don't know. I, I, I want to say I feel like the balance of the scenario is a bit off, but... At the same time, I'm not really sure how to improve it because this is kind of a very niche theme and it's an interesting theme, so I don't want to discourage it. I don't know. I guess I have mixed feelings about this one. I think I'll still give it a thumbs up at the end of the day. It's pretty good, so I'll leave it at that. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.